So we're back up on level three in the Tyree building. Lester, can you tell me about how the air conditioning system works? Yes, up here on level three, in fact, all of the different floors which are occupied um, are made up by a number of different types of air distribution systems. Uh, typically over there in the, each of the offices on the northern facade, where most of the heat load is, we have what we call a variable air volume system. And typically that type of system supplies air to those rooms at around about 12, 13 degrees Celsius to offset the heat load from the windows, uh, and then returns the air back at around about 23, 24 degrees to keep the occupants comfortable. When we get inside the building, beyond the, uh, the office walls, uh, we have what we call a dis displacement system. And the displacement system that runs around uh, this floor um, supplies air at lower level. And the idea is that when you supply low, uh, air at lower level, you supply air at high temperatures, typically around about 20 degrees Celsius for a dis true displacement system. And the way it works is that that's, that very low velocity warmer air will pool out onto the floor and then any heat rising from people or from equipment or indeed from lights will rise because there's very little air movement that actually you can feel and those plumes will rise to high level and then congregate at the very high level at the top of the atrium such as this. And then of course uh, some of that air obviously has to make, make its way back to the air handling unit which is then replaced by outdoor air and that, those return air um, grills are located on the other side of the office. This is the supply air grill at the back of here and then over the other side near the offices are uh, the return air grills. So we get a nice cross flow of air through the occupied space. Now the interesting thing about this space is that it's not only a standard air condition sy conditioning system like for example a displacement but it also incorporates a night purge arrangement and the night purge arrangement actually draws in air at night time when it's relatively cool outside and supplies it at low level and then that low level air which is night, nice and cool then fills the void in the space and then rise and the warm air rises to the high level and the vents at the top are then opened at night time to allow all that hot air to go out. So in the morning, but when everybody's ready to take, um, uh, take up their spaces in their, in their various desks and such like, and the occupancy, uh, you'll find that a lot of the building mass has actually started to cool down. And so it's sitting at around about the, maybe the 20, the, the, uh, the 19, or 18 degrees Celsius mark, ready for the, the, the warm day to start. And then the air conditioning system, that when it does kick in, doesn't have to work so hard in order to pre-cool the building. So I've heard there's a thermal labyrinth. Can you please tell me a little bit more about that? Ah, yes, there is a thermal labyrinth and that is also part of the strategy of the night cooling as well. What happens is that the air that comes into the building actually passes through this labyrinth, which is thermally massive. So it actually helps with reducing the air temperature before it gets into the space, before it rises to take out the warm air.